something else you might find around the car boot sales or if you want one badly enough on ebay is the humble uh ex-british army boot or clothes cleaning brushes um almost in every car boot sale you find a box with uh shoe cleaning gear in uh, you know shoe polish rags and brushes just like these i mean a brush is a brush is a brush but if you look at them you can find wartime dated ones um there's lots of survivors among these boot brushes because at the end of the day the boot brushes you know they're a practical item even clothes brushes were eventually used as boot brushes in post-war life so what i suggest you don't do is buy yourself a clothes brush thinking you can use it on your world war ii uniform and then run the bristles down your world war ii uniform and find them black or brown boot polish marks on your uniform off the brush because the clothes brush has been used as a boot brush later on in life because let's face it civilians don't care if they use a boot brush or a clothes brush to polish shoes with which is what the eventual life was for these things after the war so this one is a boot brush proper you can tell it's a boot brush because over the years of it being used on boots it's got a slight curve to the bristles this one has a partial serial number on it like most of them started out life as civilian commercial items this is marked up to the star brush company limited trademark and the star brush company limited started off in the 1800s so it's possibly this could be World War I and I think they went out of business in about 2016, believe it or not. Um, generally a World War I clothes brush, okay, which could also be used as a boot brush in post-war use. A World War I clothes brush has that many bristles black, then the centre bristles are white, then the end bristles are black again. But obviously over the years it may have boot polish on it. So once again I would not suggest you use anything that's marked as a clothes brush or sold as a clothes brush don't use it to wipe over your world war ii clothes because the chances are after the war they've, they've all been used as boot brushes so that's a possible world war one brush and again car boot sale they cost a matter of 10 50 pence this is a again another civilian one but it's a world war ii one that one's dated 44 See? and that the make the maker's name there's been scrubbed out or the guy's details and because this one is if you look at it in profile it's it's straight so that's been a clothes brush but it has brown or black boot polish on it so that's world war ii one this is a national service one Dated 1953 by Remploy Limited. Remploy Limited was a set of factories set up in Britain in 1945, which gave disabled soldiers and uh, servicemen in general a job in factories making things like this and ornaments and other bits and pieces. Um, in more recent years, by the time you get to the 1980s and 90s, Remploy was also opened up to civilian disabled people as well but by the time you get to i think 2013 it was decided that these factories were too expensive to keep on and the last three remploy factories in the uk closed so there's no remploy factories about now this one's dated 1953 and again because it's it's flat it's been a clothes brush, but again, it's brown or black um, on it. To give you some idea, yeah, see, look, black, traces of black boot polish. So I wouldn't use one to clean your World War II clothes. But they're nice for a kit display. So if you have the patience, car boot sale, literally pennies a piece. If you must, eBay five seven pound but they'll never be rare it's a case of supply and demand if you want one you know it's pick one basically but they're just a nice item to have as part of soldiers everyday boring routines 
Bye for now.